That's Oops. bad. Man. Whoopsie daisy. With all, the, with all the... I hear... <laughs> yes? I don't even, like, have strong feelings about privacy and stuff like that. But you put me Pokemon either. on it and you're just like, yeah, record me. While I <laughs> Please do. It's okay. It records I... audio clips of you too. Like Which is all optional. Behavior. I mean, I, I yeah, it is. you yeah, know, it's but I like I to hear myself. It's like, I get it, but speak. laugh my fucking ass off. <laughs> <laughs> I like to hear myself when I'm like, what, what am I talking about? I don't talk. I don't snore. I'm boring when I sleep, clearly. We had numbers in Mr. E, by the way. Sorry, those are yeah. semis. This is to get to the fight to Fawn, and then ultimately back to Melly, who is dominating on Belmont tonight after that 4 a.m. grind. So it's clearly working. Yeah, nothing to be, nothing boring to be found here as we get in on game one, starting things off on Smashville. Definitely not a bad weep at stage, but I think also oh, one nice. of Mr. E's preferred stages. Yeah, for sure. This is not the usual small battlefield, and it's definitely not Kalos for Wii Fist, So. At least with the close base, it does benefit uh, Lucina a lot where she can chase you down. She has a sword as well. And utilizing the uh, side B as well should be really, really good for Mr. E. However, numbers, what numbers have over Lucina was most characters have over Lucina projectiles. Mm -hmm. The soccer ball and the sun sensation are so oh. imperative here. But what does Lucina have? A beautiful one frame spike down there. And we hit those. Oh, stop shielding too. Oh, stop getting you're the, fine. Stop getting too comfortable here at the ledge. Mr. E showing things off strong here in stock one. Oh, oh missing the poke. soccer ball, actually. Putting John in a precarious position. What? what? <laughs> I hate seeing John use a soccer ball. Because why did you know he's going to hit your foot like that? He's the soccer ball scientist. I say it every time. Bro has a PhD <laughs> in soccer ball physics. I was literally about to say <laughs> that exact same <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Oh, great tech from John. Two great Another techs from John. Another good tech, but, but not good enough. But can't be taking a back air to the blast zone. Haha, <laughs> they can't be taken. That's funny. <laughs> Regardless, Mr. E is honestly playing so cool, calm, and collected. Three stocks, 110%. That's not even... And then the sweat about. Numbers is the one who has oh. the least scary here. You're on the ledge, and that's where Mr. E Loki wants you. Oh, jumping right over that tug ball. is like, no, get out of my face. Grab, go over there. Yeah, and now we're really starting to see the strengths of Smashville for Lucina, where she's just able to control so much space and just dare you to try and make your way in. John does very briefly, but right back to the other side of the stage. Oh, not ready for that tech, but I actually thought John was going to be able to mash that, but Mr. E with a three stock. Outplayed. Out that was beautiful. Played. That was a three stock. That was beautiful. That was completely punishing numbers for his preferred ledge positioning. Mm -hmm. That was everything. If you ever want to instruction manual how to beat numbers, there you go. <laughs> that was just really, really clean. Let's, let's, let's watch it again. That's how clean what it was. The, what did I, whatever. I don't know. What, <laughs> yeah. what would you do? Miss. No, I'm sorry. Got the tech and got punished for teching. Mm -hmm. And then this is you're a little bit too 67. low. Wow. On FD, on FD, the same thing's gonna happen. The same song and dance might happen here because even though you did have the platform in Smashville, Mr. E wasn't really utilizing it like that. You know, wasn't the only thing he really used it for was to time out deep breathing, to jump around numbers, to jump around the nair, jump around the the up there, jump around fair as well, and just avoid deep breathing. But here, I think oh numbers God, really wants that jump. brawl. Yeah, and I really, I do kind of understand the mentality here from Numbers because yes, Mr. E wasn't really utilizing the platform practically. Yo, what he's confirmed, cracked. by the way. Sorry, he's but, cracked. Uh, <laughs> wasn't quite using the platform practically, but it was still kind of informing the way that John Numbers moves around the stage, how he approaches stage control and moving into center stage. Now he's going to have a little bit more of a good time getting into center stage and es establishing his stage presence. And numbers off stage already, and you saw Mr. E going a little bit too low there, trying to punish it, but thankfully realized, okay, I need to back up a little bit. I need to do what I do best, which is this ledge, this ledge play. I love the poke from the down so in order to keep numbers a little bit off stage, a little bit longer. That's a down, uh, that's a dash attack. Gonna be punished by Mr. E once more, and then you keep trying to go away from me. I can just tilt this way. Don't play with me. Mr. E just looking so confident right now when it comes to challenging numbers off stage, but John getting a little bit of a cross boomerang of his own in the soccer ball twice now into some good damage confirms. All right, now we're seeing some resource gathering here at the ledge, deep breathing online, but putting yourself off stage against Mr. E, 
just such a precarious pos position right now. You get the deep breathing, but it's already gone, Mott. That's what I'm saying. Mr. E is doing a really great job of just timing out the deep breathing and not allowing numbers to utilize it except for really healing himself. Mm -hmm. Now, as I said, that Mr. E is in a deficit here. He's on the one. He's the one off stage. He's the one being put up by projectiles such as Sun Sao Sun Sal, and Soccer Ball. Finally, the Eto does come out, and so does the back air. Instead, numbers off stage once more, but deep breathing again active. Mr. E trying to catch a, uh, a ledge hang for a little bit too longer, a little bit longer there, but not gonna be able to find uh, anything. Ooh, you're, you're living. You're fine. You're fine. Yep. Deep breathing. Dash attack. Putting Mr. E <gasps> in a precarious position. But deep breathing is offline right now. Mr. E can breathe a little bit easier as we see another potential nice. edge guard. But no, it's the reversal. The up air reaching through the platform. It was a really good poke. Mr. E hanging on the on the angel platform for a little Ooh. bit longer there to time out deep breathing as much as he can. That back row is almost gonna kill, but numbers great DI and also the extra heaviness from uh, We Fit probably helped them a little bit there to not die as fast. Yep, deep breathing does reduce your damage by a very small amount, keeping John alive, and so is the soccer ball keeping John alive here. The third player coming through once again. Come on, John has 144%. Can we get it down there? No, Mr. E looking for it, but opting to come back and punish the position, which is the roll in with the back air. Again, can we get the downer right here? Ah, uh, nah, off the, out of it and probably gonna go for, oh, you want a re-grab? <laughs> I don't even think that was a re-grab. I think that was just uh, John hanging onto the ledge for too long with Oh, with the iframe. You're right, you're right. All right, Mr. E bringing us two even stocks, but John, with these timing mix up with the sun citation, like you were saying before, Mott, just the projectile war, so good against Lucina, who thrives on trying to get in this very specific spacing against you. Oh, John, trying to go for a cheeky forest smash. I'm sorry, but the but the length of the sword does come in clutch for Mr. E right there. All right, 160, 128 now. Rage is in fact building. Oh! I'm sorry. Very ambitious uh, shield breaker coming out from Mr. E. Two of them cannot be throwing that around when John has deep breathing. You're basically one more deep breathing move away from death. Fourth throw not going to be doing it just yet. And you can see John playing to that win condition. You, that that whole situation was basically checkmate. Mr. E, you know, he couldn't sit there and shield because deep breathing forward throw was gonna do it. So what do you try and do? You try and jump, you try and get out of there. Shit sucks, hit the bricks. But <laughs> John Numbers. Shit sucks. Hit the bridge, leave, go somewhere else. And you can't because you can't. even though this stage is very similar to FD in most of the sense, except for the platform. That was probably the biggest thing there. You have no way to time out deep breathing besides Ledge, we grab ledge, try to you know fumble around the stage a little bit, and, then and you just get deep breathing down tilt. And then guess what? We go, we go to a bunch of platforms. Why yep. not one, two, three, three platforms? All the platforms that you could ever possibly want. John, Are you? John, what the? John? I should, I should have said it. I should have said it. John? I think that would be a very, a very good warranted f bomb. I'm not going to because we were on Zeno. Ooh. Ooh. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. I can't believe you've done this. Can we reset? <laughs> <laughs> this, was, this one's a, a game three button warmer, right? I want to say ledge is not always friend. Sometimes ledge is not. Oh, that's a really good high recovery from John. Very rare indeed, actually. No, nah, that's crazy. All I'd be right. toasted, respectfully. I mean, John did in fact react in the camera. He didn't do anything. Mr. E just stood there. <laughs> 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 All right, I mean, serious. Yeah, coming back in, John trying not to get too rattled as we get into this game three. Just as a reminder, guys, we are still best of three. We all got work in the morning, but Mr. E trying to make sure we don't wait that much longer to get into losers finals. I'm saying that was a quick, I'm sorry, John. Oh, Perry go crazy. Really, really good pair from John, from uh, I'm sorry, from Mr. E. And honestly, this, this positioning right here is so good. The uppy gonna be taking John off stage once more. Gonna be going in for the neutral getup, and then jumping right off for oh the uh, the deep breathing. Look at two greed there from numbers. I love these dolphin slashes from Mr. E to disrupt the resource gathering at the ledge. John now at a very big deficit. We may be seeing a three stock to one situation very soon as uh, <gasps> deep breathing runs out for John. All right, not quite looking for a dash attack there is Mr. E. So that's a little bit more damage on the board for John, but he has to, you know, he can't play for even here. After after that first stock, like you have to make something happen and fast. I'm in love with the with this uppy usage from Mr. E when John's trying to get off stage and get like uh, deep breathing or anything like that. 
immediately right there to respond, and then jumps on the platform, and then John's like, damn. John is not John is happy. Not, John is not a happy camper. I think we're going to be seeing a twirling controller at the end of this mod. The camera's too low to see the controller. No! <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> they are fighting for their lives. Just for, I believe it's for third, correct? So it's just like, oh, no. Fourth. Yeah, fourth. fourth. Fifth. 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 Fourth. Fourth. Four. Oh, five, six, oh, seven, eight. Okay. I for Gore. For fourth. I'm MEP. It's 1048. <laughs> it's my bedtime. <laughs> All right, John Numbers, though, trying to fight back, but still a full stock behind. You know, if if we didn't see what we saw in stock one, it'd be a dead even game. But uh, that is simply not the timeline we live in right now, as Mr. E now only one stock away from finding himself in losers uh, finals. Wow, that the up tilt right there from Mr. E it extends so far, just narrowly catching numbers and keeping him in this obvious position. Not even able to get the down. Oh, I'm sorry, not even able to get the deep breathing, but Mr. E able to find the down here, keeping John even uh, there of even alive a lot longer. The trade as well. Numbers is not in a fair position until right there. Finally, the Ball takes the hit instead of Numbers. Yeah, John trying to find some sort of adaptations to these low Dolphin Slashes with a high down air, but still not able to find too much out of it. All right, the percents are climbing on Mr. E once again. We may, in fact, be seeing a, oh. uh, an even stock situation. Wait, is huge. This is good for Numbers to get this, uh, get this stock back in his favor, get this game back in his lead. Hopefully, coming in from a uh, basically started from two socks right from the be very beginning. Dude, if, if John oh! brings if John brings this back, I'm, I might lose it. I might yeah, I might just go crazy. Okay, numbers often go off stage. We do have Sunsaw completely charged. That's why she's flashing a little bit there, and not gonna be able to get anything off of that. But numbers at 103 percent. You're going to get a get on the ledge, get grabbed, and then you'll get up. Do we do we come back? Do we not? Do we come back from this? Are, are, the, are the John Believers in chat right now? Where's Jamburger? You need Jamburger. <laughs> oh, beautiful catch on the roll in. Oh my goodness. And then that should be it. The back air is oh! there. Oh, it's off the table, oh! too. We got a touchdown. Nah, I got to see that controller. Yo, that's on the floor. That means it's not happy. A, a rare, like, controller fumble off of the table. Usually you see it land you know, on there safely. The perfect ratio. I can't draw it today, but <laughs> the perfect ratio. You usually have one of those. But no, today it was, like, gone. It's just gone. Seusa. Into, a, Into a, the abyss. a different dimension. Into the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. My favorite game. Let's, let's play my favorite game. What was that I'm set sure. worth? <laughs> what was it worth? What was that set worth? Oh, I'm so ready for this. <laughs> Let's talk about it, because there's a okay. lot of things that happen that yeah. set. Oh, we've got replay. one more replay. Yeah, yeah, one more. I played. There we go. All right. We got one. Bro, bro. What was that set worth? Wait, this way. All right, here we go. You you're, can spin it. Yeah, your beautiful assistant is here to spin the wheel. Oh, my gosh. She, like, touches me. That's so fun. It was worth ten dollars. 